loud. Here we go. I'm trying to get everything recorded. Try to use two computers and see if we can get this thing recorded. I don't know. Happy Easter to everybody. And may you all be blessed. And, and may your families, your homes, your children. <laughs> may your finances be met and over, overflowing. Because we could all use that, right? My goodness, have you all heard the news and stuff that's going on around the world? Ooh, we we're in trouble. Yep, we are. My word, my word. And the stuff these people are teaching and preaching around the world and here in the, in the countries and and who they're blaming everything on, well, it plays an antichrist role all the way of setting things up to the end. Oh, my goodness. They, they can't figure out to this very day. All those fancy preachers and scholars who went to college, <clears throat> they can't figure out to this day what sets the seals. And a seal of the seven years has a countdown has now begun. And that the seven years has now started. They can't figure that out to this day. All those scholars, all that went to college, all those degrees, all these teachers of end time teachings and just bring speculation, presuming, and a whole bunch of possibilities. You know, they they can't prove any of it. You know, they got all this speculation, but they can't prove anything. They can't figure it out. Well, the Lord's kept it hid all these years down in that Bible. And, well, when they're only going to read it here and there, and then they get to try to figure it out. Well, you know, that's what they get for just reading it here and there. <laughs> when you read it in the wholeness, you, you've received the wholeness thereof. And then you can come back and pe preach the bits and pieces and parts. And, and now you know where to place it. You know, when they finally said, hey, we found a king. We found our Messiah, and he walks among us. And they march him up into the temple, and they place that crown upon his head and proclaim him before the whole world that they found the king, the Messiah, claiming their God walks among them. I think you could safely say, you dang dang preachers, the seven-year countdown has now begun. So it says he's going to reign from Jerusalem, from the temple. And, you know, they can't figure all this stuff out to this day. <laughs> you know, they're going to blame it on all these other things. Well, they are an antichrist way. None of these men have met the scriptures. None of these men have met the scriptures of what the, the Hebrews and Jews that will not hear Christ will accept. They're still waiting unto this day for someone to be born of, of a virgin who's not been with a man. To be born in Bethlehem. Now, we know good and well the Lord Jesus was born and met those scriptures in every way, fulfilling the prophecies, but they weren't going to hear Christ. Oh, no. They weren't going to hear him at all. Well, you see, they wanted things to be done in front of them in something that they could accept. You know, when the Lord Jesus reappeared in the upper room, he, he reappeared into his own, his apostles and all of those that was in the upper room, and even the mother Mary. You see, he reappeared reappeared unto his own. He didn't walk back into the temple and get that high priest and say, you remember me? Uh, you remember me? Uh, you wanted you cry, you know, you wanted to watch die, had crucified and said, give us Barabbas. You, you remember me? You see, if he, he'd have done this in front of them, look at what would have changed things way back then. But things had to be involved so they would go around into the world. Into the world when they couldn't see. You see, it wasn't done in front of them. They'd have marched him right up until the temple and said, hey, we got somebody who died. We got somebody who rose again. You see, under this very day, under this very day, they still wait for someone to meet the scriptures in the flesh. This man's going to be a copycat. He's going to be a copycat in every way. So let's see, how could a, a woman in our lifetime bear a child and become pregnant and, ha and have a child and, and, and not been with a man? It's the sample. It's the sample. Through artificial insemination, this can be done in our own lifetime. Look at all those women that's having trouble getting, you know, get, uh, uh, that, that could even become pregnant and they're having trouble, all, and go, you know, but they've been with a man. So what do they do? They go up to the doctor and kind of help them out. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Look at all these women now that just don't want anything to do with man. But yet they want to be a mother. 
So what do they do? They go up there to the doctor, and the doctor helps them out. Oh, my goodness sakes. Isn't this a simple? Meeting the scriptures in the flesh, even though Christ already met them, but they're waiting for someone in the flesh. You see, this man's going to be of the earth. The Lord Jesus was given of the heavenly. <laughs> he was given of the Holy Ghost, <laughs> given from on high in the Mother Mary. <laughs> you see, this man's going to be of the earth, and he's going to be everything of the earth, and even of the spirit of this earth. Everlasting that they've cried out for and begged for and prayed at the wall. Putting those notes in, Lord, we want a king. Lord, we want a temple. Lord, we want a Messiah. Lord, it says someone must be born of the seed of David. Lord, it says he must be born at Bethlehem. Lord, it says that this man's going to die and rise again to take the throne of David to rule all of the nations as a king. Lord, it says that all of the world it will bow unto our king. Well, every last thing they begged for, the Lord's going to give them all the way through. But they're not going to like the king in the end. Oh, my Lord, my Lord. Oh, they're going to get mad at this fella. <laughs> yeah, to set a crown upon him. Hey, you know what? What if this next pope, or maybe the one after, I don't know. What if they actually set one that's proven to be of the tribe of Levi? Levi was given the priesthood. Okay, now let's play it into prophetic role to the end. They chose that German fella to appease the Holocaust, right? Okay, now we got all these different popes from all around the world that they choose. They weren't born in Bethlehem. They weren't born of a virgin. They certainly ain't of the seed of King David. But you see, the priesthood was given unto Levi. The kingship was given unto Judah and unto the lineage of King David and King David only. What if they used to put someone of Levi, proven to be of the lineage of Levi's, of the priesthood, that's turned over into the Catholic faith? We got Catholics over there in Jerusalem. They're running all over the place. Turned over into the Catholic faith, and they set him upon the seven mountains of Rome. You dang dang preachers. Sorry. You just can't figure it out, can you, until somebody helps you out. But yet, if we try, you're just so busy writing more sermons on how he died on the cross. Well, fine. Well, somebody's got to help you out. When you ain't willing to study, you ain't willing to pray, you ain't willing to fast, but yet you want, you want to figure it out. You want to be able to tell your church what's going on, but yet you can't. The Lord said he'd hide wisdom and knowledge from them. From the wise, the prudent, to lift it up, and he'd reveal it unto the babes. <laughs> the man that doesn't get all that fame and glory and glory homes and money donated to him. The Lord will reveal that stuff to him and not the renowned. They sold all their books and CDs and tapes. A thousand dollar seat, come get ye to understanding. And then you open that book up and it ain't got nothing but, but, but speculation and presuming and a whole bunch of possibilities. You can't get past the third page, and it's like, oh, for crying out loud. But they can sure sell those books and say, come get you the understanding. And then they, get, then they put a title on that book, The Prophetic Word to Teach You the End Times. <laughs> you blind guides. There's nothing prophetic about their books, the majority of them. Oh, there's some good ones out there, but nah, they still ain't got it figured out. They call it The Prophetic Word. To help people into the end times to know where we're all at. Of what's going on in the world. <laughs> and all it is is pathetic. You see, it's not prophetic. There's nothing prophetic about it. You see, if it was prophetic from the Lord, it would be in the alignment of the word of the Lord. It would be in alignment of that Bible. But they can't figure it out. Well, what if they said a Catholic Pope that's of, the, of Levi and set him upon the seven mountains of Rome? You see, even he's still not the one they look for. That's just somebody of the priesthood. They look for somebody of the seed of David, and under the seed of David only. The Lord said, under your seed, David, under, and, uh, under your seed, shall set upon the throne of David, ruling all of the nations as a king. All those years. 
whether it was good kings or bad kings. King David was given some of the most glorious, glorious kings. Oh, my word, the most glorious kings that tried to turn the nations around and get them away from the things of the world and that bowing and the golden and sacrificing under that nonsense. And then here comes some bad kings. Bad kings. Oh, my goodness, they had some bad, bad kings that simply went into the abominations of God. Well, play it in a role in the end. Good kings and bad kings. Well, we could go through the history of Israel, and it's just a beautiful teaching. My word, my word. So now we got what they will accept. They're not going to accept anybody of America, born of America. <laughs> They're not going to accept somebody of Spain, Iraq, Iran, Italy, France. It doesn't matter. They wasn't born in Bethlehem. They certainly wasn't born of a virgin. Hello. You see, Christ's mother, she was proven to be in the lineage of King David in her genealogy. She was proven to be, and King David was proven to be of the tribe of Judah. This is proven through our Bibles. This man's going to be a copycat. This mother, she'll be able to prove her lineage into the tribe of King David, just like Christ was. He's going to be a copycat, you dang dang preachers. They're not going to accept anybody just flying over there in the from around the world and say, guess what? We found some old scrolls. Well, my grandpa had some old scrolls we found. We, we dug them all out. Well, how many years has it been since Christ? What, over 2,000 that he was born? Okay. And and, and uh, how many how many years was it back into King David? And they got some old scrolls. And he's going, hey, uh, I've got some lineage scrolls here. And, and I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm of I'm I'm King David. Oh, he's going to have to prove it. You can't just roll out a bunch of names and say, I'm of King David. I'm your king. Ain't going to work, is it? He's going to have to prove it. You see, this man will be able to prove through his DNA that he's of the lineage of King David through the DNA testing alone. They got the DNA testings of the mummies over there. <laughs> they know if you're, you're kin to the Pharaoh or the Queen of Sheba. <laughs> they got the DNA. You see, this man will be able to prove his DNA of where he's of and from. Born right there in Bethlehem. In the scripture that they will accept. Out of Egypt have I called my chosen. All the teachings of all of that. Christ was even hidden in Egypt, wasn't he? When they sought the child. And then the angels told Joseph to, to bring the Lord Jesus and the family back into the, the, the promise, the Holy Land. <laughs> this man's going to do the same. Oh, my goodness. They can't figure it out until this very day. No, no. No, they're going to blame it on all this stuff they see. It all is an Antichrist way. But they're not the man. Nope. Sorry. Pop your bubble. You big fancy preachers that says your $1,000 seat seminar. Hey. I, I do this for free. I had a grandma. She studied that Bible nightly and daily. Nightly and daily. <laughs> uh, you should have paid attention to grandma. <laughs> you know, all these speculations and possibilities and presuming. You see, they wait for someone to be proven of the lineage of David. And someone who's going to die and rise again in front of them Oh, my goodness, have you paid attention to your scriptures? No, no, they didn't. It says this man's going to be wounded by a sword. They're going to kill him. He's going to drop deader than a doornail. Yep, they're going to kill him. When they find out he's of David, oh, man, the, they, they hate those lineages. They hate anybody of, of the tribe of Judah, <laughs> let alone somebody of the seed of King David. Oh, they'll kill him. Yeah, all those wars and battles that took place. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're going to kill him. And it says they're going to ram that sword right through his head. Well, they just want to use it in a prophetic way. They go, well, it's just got to be a great big organization. It's going to take a great big blow to the head of the, of the organization. It's going to bring them down to the ground. you know. And then they're going to be able to somehow restructure and get these people back together and restructure and get their corporation back together and, and stand up upon their feet. 
fully. You blind preachers, you blind guides. He's going to do it for real because when they find out he's of the seed of David, they're going to kill him. He said, he, the grievous wound unto his head. And they said, they'd be in awe. How could he yet speak and talk with such a grievous wound unto his head? It says, because the spirit of Satan shall enter him and he shall stand upon his feet. Hello. Now they got somebody proven to be of David. Now they got somebody that's proven of his lineage. Now they got somebody who's died and rose again in front of them. They're not willing to accept what is said in the new because it says the spirit of Satan shall enter him and he shall stand upon his feet. It also says they're going to march him up to the temple and place that crown upon his head and proclaim they found their king. Proclaiming that their Messiah and their God walks among them. Ouch. It's amazing how the Lord has hidden that knowledge and wisdom down in that Bible the whole time. But in its appointed time and season, it shall be made known unto them. But yet the whole world's not going to buy this. All those preachers who think they wrote all of their books, they're not going to listen to this. They're so busy selling their books of their speculation, presuming, possibilities, whole lot of maybes. Well, those prophets back here in that Bible, they, they, they didn't work in possibility and maybe. They came and warned the people, and they said, that if you don't get this straightened out, these things shall come. And behold, when prophecies was fulfilled, it came exactly as the man said it was going to come to pass. And many, and it did. It's not, well, maybe. It's not, well, possibly. <laughs> the ding, ding preachers. Oh, I'll, I'll get them some mad. They'll stone me before the altar. Love you. You just can't figure it out, can you? Oh, I'll get you and I'll get you good. I've had enough of this, these people and what all they're claiming around the world and claiming behind the pulpit and standing on that national television and just tickling the ears of the sons and daughters of the Lord's own people, blaming on every last thing you see. How could the seven years begin if they don't have someone they placed a crown upon who's met the scriptures in front of them in which they will accept him being a copycat and now we got someone who's fulfilled it in front of them. Sorry, guys. Wisdom and knowledge and understanding has been laid under your noses the whole time. It's a shame you wouldn't sit down with Grandma. <laughs> and you made how much money with your books? <laughs> well, you got your reward. You know, they got a passion for the Lord. You got to give them that. You know, they're not deliberately trying to mislead anyone. They're, they're not deliberately trying to do that. They're doing it as they see it and as they believe it, as they've come, as they understand it. That's all they've ever done. That's all mankind has ever done all these years. It, it always, history always repeats itself. It always has. Anyway, I've got some other films I want to do. I was just trying to check out this new cell phone and see if I can get maybe some better recordings done and without the laptop shutting down on me all the time. <laughs> you know, poof, right, and then I lose the film. But anyway, I got some more stuff I want to bring. So you all stay tuned, and may you be blessed.